trees. <laughs> what the heck? I thought it would be busier today since the video came out last week but um, I'm the only one out here right now So the one rig that worked really well last week was the um, two bait So I'll get a Carolina rig going Basically just a sliding weight rig um, with a sliding weight sitting a foot or two above the tube bait and this is what we're using today so this is the tube bait it kind of looks like a squid it's got lots of little tiny legs see banana for good luck This bite, this bite, this bite, this bite. This one, this one. Not a bad size, actually. Okay, we're gonna keep this. <laughs> All right. Whew. That was fast. So this one is about. 12 inches long not a bad size for eating so we're gonna keep that okay nobody home we're gonna move on move on to the next spot that one so I know there's one fish here I haven't missed one before so and it they definitely don't move around too much so it should still be there There's a bite. Let's see if we come back. Come on. Damn it, it's not going for it. Oh, this is, there it is. Oh, it came off, it came off. A little spinning out there, one second. That fish didn't come back. This one, this one, this one. What is that? That feels like a pipe. Oh no, it's a bass. It's a bass. Yeah, not the same size one. Oh! Came off. Are you kidding me? I just watched this bass coming up and grab my two bait. It's just dangling just below the surface. That was that was unreal. <laughs> what the heck? That was I never had that before. <laughs> that fish came up from like five feet deep all the way to the top and grabbed the two bait that was dangling just below the surface. And I just happened to look down, otherwise I would have lost my rod. That was nuts. <laughs> what 
What a greedy fish. What the heck, man? That was crazy. I've never seen that before. That's a good sized fish too. Hey. <laughs> a suicidal fish. So this one is about, i say probably 13, maybe 14 inches long. That was hilarious. Never seen that before. Ah, this wasn't getting away for sure. Um, this fish is well, well hooked. So yeah, slightly bigger than the first one. This one is probably about a pound and a bit. So 13 inches long. The other one was um, just over 12. And you can see the difference between 12 and 13 inch. That, how much growth there is between the two. Um, smallmouth bass tend to get wide instead of long and like trout. So yeah. Well, we're eating well tonight. Oops. No, my banana. Oh, sh Crap. Oh, another one, another one. What is that? Bass. Another bass. Yeah. There you go. Dinner, more dinner. This one is about the same size as the first one. Uh, about 12, nah, 11, 12 inches long. But, you know, that's still edible. You can get two nice fillets out of that. Okay, these waves are driving me nuts. Um, gonna go home, I'm gonna cook these fish up. Before we get out of here, I just wanna clean these fish and see what they have been eating. Um, I mean, the speculation is that these fish eat a lot of salmon, juvenile salmon, um, but they also eat other stuff in here as well. So crayfish and pike minnows and anything they can, anything that can fit in their mouth, I guess. Let's open up the uh, 13 inch fish. The belly's pretty full. There's something in here. I'm just gonna open this up. So that's the stomach. And we got... We got a little fish here. That doesn't look like a juvenile salmon. It's pretty digested so I can't actually tell what it is. Okay, let's open up the next one here. Oh, this one's got tons of eggs. Look at this. So, we just killed a fish that would have been spawning. Lots of eggs. Wow. There must be thousands, thousands of eggs in here. Oh, this one's got a full stomach. It's like Christmas, opening up a present here. So that is very, very easy to recognize. That is a sculpin. It's a pretty large sculpin I got here. I think there's a crayfish in here. Some kind of crustacean. Yeah, that looks like the leftover of the of the crayfish. Definitely, you can see the claws. Um, it's pretty digested, but you can definitely see the um, the exoskeleton is still pretty intact. So, fish number three doesn't have that much 
um, stuff in the stomach here. There's some digested items in the intestine. We can just push it out. And that doesn't, well, that, that is another crayfish, actually. So, more crayfish. There you go. Three fish. I'm kind of surprised by how big these fish are. They're actually really perfect for eating. That 13 inch long fish is easily a pound and a half and um, I'm still a little shocked by the weight difference between a 12 inch fish and a 13 inch fish because the bigger one is almost double of the smaller one. Um, but yeah, there's a fair amount of protein in them. So it's time to cook them up. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fillet them I'm gonna skin them, I'm gonna make sure there are no bones in them, cut them into chunks, deep fry them in batter, my trusty North Elm knife. Oops, bones is pretty hard. Okay, maybe the fillet knife is not ideal for this application, but I'm gonna go through it, there you go. Cut right through. So that's the head. Oh, that bone is really, really tough, hey? <laughs> okay, that's, um, I'm kind of missing a bit of meat over there. It's gotta go down deep. All right. Okay, bit of a learning curve. So that's not bad. So this is one fillet right here. And I can definitely get quite a bit of meat off that. So go down like that. So there, this piece of meat right here is completely boneless. Perfect. Well, there you go. There's another piece. So there you have it, I got one plate of beautiful bass chunks ready to be deep fried. And this was actually pretty easy to cut up. I was, um, was kind of surprised how fast everything took. Yeah, so all I gotta do now is I'm gonna batter this up, get the oil going and deep fry them. And um, I've already got the vegetables cut up for my fish taco and um, we should be eating in no time. Catch and cook. Uh, thanks Jay for sending me these. So um, these come in two different flavors. It's got the original, but also the spicy. I haven't tried the spicy yet. I love spice. So I'm gonna use that today. Pretty simple and anyone can do this really. Okay, second step completed. These are all coated with catch and cook um, batter mix. And next step, we're gonna pan fry them up. Ooh, it's hot. When you're frying these fish, um, it shouldn't take more than a couple minutes. Yeah, it's looking good. This batter is actually really, really thin um, because I'm not adding any other liquid to it. It's just, it's a very thin coating. So when you eat this, it wouldn't feel too heavy. Should I try one? Just make sure it actually tastes okay. Yeah, I should. <laughs> This meat is actually really delicate. It's, um, it's very fine. And there's no fishy taste, there's no muddy taste to it. It's very, very light. Yeah, it's, it's pretty good. It's uh, surprisingly good. Wow, I'm excited. I'm excited to add the vegetables, the, the mangoes to it um, in the wrap. Look at that. Doesn't that look pretty? 
I mean, I've had small mouth bass before, and uh, but that's before I kind of knew how to cook properly. So this is, I think, it's gonna be like 100 times better. Okay, next step, we're gonna plate all this up in a wrap. Um, just got the smaller one, so I can have lots. So let's go with some lettuce. So let's put one, two, three. Oh, I love mango. It's um, mango to go with fish. It's just perfect. Get some onion in there as well. Okay, tomato. There you go. Doesn't look too bad, does it? Yeah. It's so good. Um, the meat is delicate. It's light. This feels really healthy. At least I think so. Um, besides the deep frying. Mmm. My gosh. It's so good. <laughs> you have to go try it. I didn't put a whole lot of fish in this one. So I think for the next one, and yes, I am going to need another one because it's that good. I'm going to put more fish into that one and less, <clears throat> maybe less um, veggies. So I can actually taste the fish more. So let's put some big pieces on there. One, two, three. If you want to get rid of an invasive species, you gotta sell it. You gotta make people to go out and wanting to catch them. And this is the way to do it. You know? Oh, excuse me. And uh, because these are delicious, I'm sure many of you will want to get out there and try it out yourself now. Mm. Still just as good as the first one. Okay, number three. You didn't think I could eat that much, did you? That last bite was the best one so far. Just got the right amount of mango and fish in my mouth. This has to be one of my favorite fish recipe I've done so far in the channel. I can probably eat one or two more, but I'm gonna end the video here just so you don't have to watch me eating any longer. Um, in my last video, I probably pissed off all of the um, anti-bass crowd by releasing all the bass. And in this video, I probably Pissed off all the pro bass uh, crowd by eating all this bass right here. So I guess nobody's gonna subscribe anymore. Thanks for watching and please do subscribe. I really appreciate your support. And um, if you have any other questions, um, leave it on the bottom in the comment section. I'm always happy to help you out. And until next time, good luck fishing and um, enjoy your bass when you do get some next time. So good, so good.